Hey there. Have you ever thought about the state of the environment in Tunisia? It's something that's been on my mind lately, considering the global climate crisis and all. Absolutely, I share your concern. Tunisia is a beautiful country with a rich natural heritage, but it's facing various environmental challenges. One of the most pressing issues is water scarcity. With its arid climate and limited water resources, Tunisia struggles to provide clean and sufficient water to its growing population. Yes, water scarcity is a major concern, especially given its impact on agriculture. Tunisia's agriculture sector heavily relies on irrigation, and with water becoming scarce, farmers face challenges in growing crops. This not only affects the economy, but also leads to food security issues for the people. You're right. And speaking of agriculture, there is also the problem of soil erosion. Improper agricultural practices and deforestation contribute to the degradation of soil quality. This, in turn, affects the fertility of the land and reduces agricultural productivity, creating a vicious cycle of environmental degradation. I've read about the efforts being made to combat desertification in Tunisia. The government has implemented afforestation programs and land restoration projects to prevent further spread of deserts. Reforestation not only helps in preventing soil erosion, but also promotes biodiversity and sequesters carbon dioxide, mitigating the effects of climate change. That's true, afforestation plays a crucial role. Moreover, Tunisia is also making strides in renewable energy. The country has been investing in solar and wind energy projects, reducing its reliance on fossil fuels. Transitioning to clean energy sources not only reduces greenhouse gas emissions, but also promotes sustainable development. Absolutely, investing in renewable energy is vital for reducing the carbon footprint. Additionally, Tunisia's coastal areas are facing threats from rising sea levels and coastal erosion due to climate change. This not only endangers human settlements, but also impacts marine ecosystems and biodiversity. Coastal protection measures are essential to preserve these vulnerable regions. I've heard about the importance of marine conservation in Tunisia. The country boasts diverse marine life, and initiatives like marine protected areas and sustainable fishing practices are crucial. Overfishing not only depletes fish stocks, but also disrupts the balance of marine ecosystems. Street regulations and community involvement are necessary to ensure the long-term sustainability of marine resources. Community involvement is indeed key. It's inspiring to see local communities and non-governmental organizations actively participating in environmental conservation efforts. Public awareness and education play a significant role in encouraging sustainable practices and fostering a sense of responsibility towards the environment. Absolutely, education is fundamental. By raising awareness about environmental issues, people can make informed choices in their daily lives. Recycling, conserving water, and reducing plastic usage are small yet impactful steps that every individual can take. It's essential to instill these values in future generations to create a lasting impact on the environment. I couldn't agree more. Moreover, ecotourism could be a potential avenue for promoting environmental conservation in Tunisia. By showcasing its natural beauty and biodiversity, the country can attract tourists who are environmentally conscious. This not only generates revenue, but also encourages the preservation of natural habitats and wildlife. That's a great point. Ecotourism not only benefits the economy, but also highlights the importance of preserving Tunisia's unique ecosystems. It fosters a sense of appreciation for nature and encourages responsible tourism practices. Sustainable tourism initiatives, such as eco-friendly accommodations and guided nature tours, can further enhance the ecotourism experience. Absolutely, responsible tourism is the way forward. It's heartening to see the collaborative efforts being made by various stakeholders in Tunisia, including the government, non-profit organizations, and local communities. Together, they are working towards a greener, more sustainable future. It's a testament to the collective commitment to safeguarding the environment for future generations. Definitely, the collaboration between different sectors is essential. The challenges faced by Tunisia's environment require a comprehensive approach and the active participation of everyone. By continuing these efforts and adopting innovative solutions, Tunisia can pave the way for environmental sustainability, not only within its borders, but also as a positive example for other nations to follow.
I couldn't have said it better myself. It's inspiring to see the passion and dedication of individuals and organizations in Tunisia. With continued awareness, education, and collaborative action, there's hope for a brighter, greener future. Let's hope that these efforts continue to flourish and create a lasting impact on the environment, not just in Tunisia but around the world. Absolutely, here's to a sustainable future. May the initiatives in Tunisia serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for the global community. With persistence and determination, we can overcome the environmental challenges we face and create a world where nature thrives, and future generations can enjoy the beauty of our planet.